How's it going fam, Luis here from Gaming Vlog Network, and a couple of days ago I did a video tutorial on how to stream your PS4 games to any Android device for free. And the positive reception, all the positive comments, the thumbs up, the views, were all really great, so thank you all for the positive support on that video. I really do appreciate it. Now the whole reason you're actually able to stream your PS4 games to your Android devices without them actually being Sony devices is because a guy or a modder that goes by the name Twisted modded the application or the official remote play application to work on any Android device, not just the Sony Xperia phones. That's why when you actually launch the application on your phones, it says modded by Twisted. I know a lot of you guys thought you guys were being hacked or something. No, this is why this actually works. Now this modern name Twisted actually released his own application for PCs as well. This one, however, isn't free. He made this from scratch, so he's charging about $9.50 for it. And before you ask me, no, I'm not going to share the application and anyone that tries to get the pirated version will be deleted in the comments. I fully believe in supporting this guy's work because He's released a free version of this for Android, why not support the PC version if you want it. Now keep in mind Sony has gone on to also announce their own PC slash Mac remote play application, but this was also after this whole modded version came out, and it's probably just an answer to this mod being released. With that said, if you want to wait for Sony to release their official version, you can do that. If you're eager to do it right now on Windows at least, you can't do this on Mac just yet, you can go ahead and purchase this application. Now I'm not being sponsored by Twisted or anything, I just bought it myself, I love the guy's work and I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys how it works. So here's how you can remote play your PS4 games over to your PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and purchase the application with the link in the description below. It's about $9.50 and it's a Windows only application. Now once you've gone ahead and purchased the application and downloaded it, I'll have instructions in the description to install it and set it up. It is a little bit complicated just because it does require you to enter a license and activate the program to prevent piracy so that's why I'm not showing it off on video. Now pretty much when you have the application installed and you open up the Remote Play PC application, you're going to get two options. You're going to be able to either search and connect to your PS4 through the local Wi-Fi connection, or you can connect directly to the PS4 IP address. Now if you don't know your PS4 IP address, you can just go over to your settings application on your PS4, go down to network settings, go to view connection info and find your IP address and go ahead and type it into the little PS4 connect pop-up in the Remote Play Windows application. Go ahead and click on direct connect or search and connect and you should be able to connect over to your PlayStation 4. Now as far as what you can do with this application, it's pretty much just remote play on your PC. You can set it up to work with your keyboard or you can even connect something like a DualShock 4 to it and remap the buttons to work. You can even do this with pretty much any gamepad controller. You also have the options to change the resolution and the frame rate in case your internet connection isn't so great and you want to lower the settings so you can run it a little bit better. So you have the option to switch between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second and the resolutions differ from 360p to 540p and 720p. And pretty much from there you're ready to go. You can just plug in your controller and get to it and enjoy PlayStation 4 games on your PC through remote play. Now from my experience trying out the remote play application, the only time I ever have errors with the graphics or the stream itself, I'll usually have to either restart the application if anything glitches out, or I'll just have to press the PlayStation home menu, go to the home menu, and then go back to the game to fix any graphical glitches. But then again, this game or this application is an alpha, it's not the official PlayStation application. This is someone who's doing this himself by scratch, so keep in mind it's not the official PlayStation application, it's someone like you and I just making this on his own. Now for those of you wondering how the internet connection works with this, how great it is or how bad it is, I have a 200 megabit connection down and 20 up, I have the computer connected through ethernet and the PS4 connected through ethernet in the same house, and it's pretty much instantaneously. Even just running both of them side by side on two different TVs, you can see it's pretty much in sync with the PS4 over to the remote play application. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and enjoyable, if you have any questions about how the application works before you want to buy it yourself let me know in the comment section below i'd be happy to answer any questions that i can if you want to keep up to date with me off of youtube you can check out my social network links in the description below i'll have facebook twitter snapchat instagram pretty much everything including my gaming usernames for playstation xbox uh, wii u and steam thank you all for being some awesome viewers and i'll catch you all in the next one later